Nowadays, we can access wide ranges of food with just a trip to our local grocery store. Without a second thought, we are consuming, purchasing, and supporting foods from all parts of the globe. One type of food we tend to overlook is the banana. With its cheap prices for a bundle, we tend to forget that the origin of the banana and plantain is not local. So how did this delicious fruit make its way onto our kitchen table? The answer lies in colonialism and old and new systems of slavery. The journey actually begins in 325 BC, all the way to the southeastern jungles of Asia. During his conquest, Alexander the Great was believed to be the first European to discover the savors of this fruit. Since then, the word spread and the banana and plantain became a profit in various early trading routes. During the time of European colonization in Asia, the British East India Company became interested in producing bananas and plantains for British colonial expenditures. When the British began planting bananas in Calcutta Botanical Gardens, not only did they receive profit for selling bananas and plantains, but they also discovered that the fruit can be used as medicinal herbs. Acting as both a medicine and a delicious raw fruit, the banana and plantain allowed the British to expand their economic and political imperial power. As a result, European superiority and imposition of imperial tyranny increased in the British colonies in Africa, Asia, and the Caribbean. Not long after, British colonialism expanded to the Caribbean islands, formerly known as the French Antilles. The bananas were a means of providing a source of revenue and assisting colonial profit. Kevin Bales argues that new slavery involves less cost and more profit. As profit grew, so did high quotas and exploitation of Afro-Caribbean workers. Songs like Deo, written by Harry Belafonte, lyrically describe the harsh labor for a banana worker. But has much changed since then? During the 1900s, an American business called the United Fruit Company heavily interfered with Latin American politics to expand banana production. The company is known as Chiquita. Chiquita's political interference led to exploitation of native workers, mainly in free child labor. Today, child laborers are subject to 12-hour workdays, leaving little to no time for school. Moreover, child laborers are exposed to toxic chemicals and hazardous working environments. The adult workers face different risks while working, due to exposure to high-level toxins which can cause newborns to possess severe abnormalities. On the plantation, women and young girls are commonly sexually abused from their superiors. Although working conditions has marginally improved, we are not so different from the past. The banana and plantain had a long journey getting to our tables, from the tropical jungles of Southeast Asia to today's Chiquita plantation. But along the way, the banana and plantain became more than a savory fruit, but a symbol of past and present colonial exploitation and imperialism. Yeah. Is that, 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 is that